Okay, we're back. Uh, finally, all right. I've got mine in hand. I've got my Ultimate Shrimp Cure High Octane. I've got my Ultimate Shrimp Cure Standard version. Um, it's been a long time coming. We've been waiting. Uh, been been patient with this to do it right, to get it done right. When you take smaller garage type uh, concoctions and formulas, and then you're looking to mass produce them, you want to you know triple check everything. So crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sense of it. Uh, everything looks amazing. I've fished some of this bait already over the last few months. Uh, extremely effective as it always has been. Um, yeah, I have two formulas. Why did I bring two formulas to market? You guys have asked a ton on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm getting a ton of questions. Keith, why two formulas? Okay, here's what it is. I have four formulas, okay? Over the years, I've compiled four formulas that I've made out of my garage that I've found to be extremely effective for salmon and steelhead. When Steve approached me from Procure, he approached me for the ultimate egg cure, okay? As you've seen that on the market, uh, it's going Richter. That stuff's going crazy. People are loving it, uh, makes the brightest eggs. People are having phenomenal successes. Uh, tons and tons of pictures coming in. I'm hearing great stories. I love hearing it, keep those coming. Uh, but he approached me, <clears throat> we wanted to bring the shrimp cure to market, but I couldn't decide. Uh, I couldn't decide between these two. They're my top two. My other two are a little more specific to specific fisheries. There's certain things that are like red hot or red knot for the lack of better words. So I always have these two with me. Okay. Uh, salmon and steelhead, both equally effective. Okay. That's another question I've had a ton of. This high octane, it must be uh, hotter. Mm -mm. No, okay, not the situation. A couple extra bite stimulants, a couple extra things that draw the attention of the fish uh, over all the years that I've recognized over time and time and time again, you know, all the trials and efforts that I've recognized that when those couple extra bite stimulants are in my solutions, uh, they make a difference. Now there are days that those aren't as effective and they don't pay attention to them as much. That's when I'm seeing this one consistently outfishing this one, okay? No rhyme, no reason. I still, to this day, after all 30 plus years of trial and error, I still, to this day, can't tell you why. Uh, one works better. I've tried to, you know, water temps and water clarities and how far from the ocean, maturity of the fish and all these sort of things. And I'm trying to make it, I'm just, I'm bringing two to market, okay? I'm bringing two to market because I believe that on the days when you're out in the boat, you got four or five rods out, or you're on the beach, four or five rods out plunking, uh, you know, you got your buddies with you, uh, you run them both. Okay. Run them on one side, run them on the other, whatever side's going three, one, four, one, five, one on the other side, switch to that side, put that bait out on all the boat and effectively, uh, light them up. Absolutely light them up. Okay. Uh, before I started the video, okay, I went outside and I added seven ounces of dry formula to my quart jar. Okay. So 14 ounce jar, effectively, there's 14 ounces in here. So divide it by two, pretty simple guys. Uh, you make two quarts with one bottle, all right? So seven ounces, I've got to bring in super simple, two and a half cups of water, okay? I've made this as simple, as simple as possible, okay? Two and a half cups of water, Why did I bring, uh, or why did I preload my quart jar? Let me explain, okay? I've had some mishaps in my house before. It's not fun. Uh, I have spilled a bottle of egg here in my house before. That is not good. The dyes and the chemicals in these, in these formulas are super, super, super fine. Uh, I want you to pay attention to the fact of, uh, if they get anywhere inside your house, you will find that they will stain uh, very, very seriously. So do not get them on countertops, do not get them on tables, do not get them on floors, do not get them on carpets. Take the jar outside, take your bottle outside, dump in half, let it air out, okay? Bring it back in, you're fine, all right? Be real careful now when you start adding your coon shrimp, okay? I have about a pound, pound and a quarter of coon shrimp here. I wanna talk a little bit about these coon shrimp for a second, okay? Let's talk about the size of these coon shrimp and the quality of these coon shrimp. The quality of these coon shrimp are extremely important to discuss because if you have low quality shrimp to start with, 
in the end, you're going to have reasonably low quality bait. You'll have all the proper bite stimulants, proper chemicals to make the bait good, but I can't change the texture of the pre of the coon shrimp or the prawns, if that makes sense. If they're soft to start, they're going to be soft in the end. All right. So uh, I would typically thaw these out. Okay. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing this quickly. I would typically thaw these out and then kind of just feel them, right? Get an idea of what I'm dealing with. Uh, these seem to be nice, clean shrimp. Okay. There are some blackheads in the mix. As you look closer, you'll see some blackheads in here. Uh, you know, in your coon shrimp bags and stuff, when you get them, you're going to see uh, larger coon shrimp like this. That's a big boy. Uh, not exactly my favorite shrimp to fish. I've caught fish on them. Okay. So will I cure it? Yeah. Uh, I don't want a jar full of those. Okay. I want a jar full of these. Okay. That size right there. Inch and a half you know, inch and three quarters. That's the most effective size coon shrimp through and through. Okay. Salmon steelhead that you can put on your, on your, on your hook. Okay. Um, all right. We're dropping these in real quick. Just be real careful as you drop them in, they can and will splash and spill. All right. So be in a place where if you do, you can clean it up and you're not making a big mess. Don't need anybody, uh, calling me saying, Hey, I, uh, got all these stains and stuff not good all right we're almost there just kind of fingering these last bits in uh whiskers guys whiskers are good all right see those whiskers on that coon shrimp let me tell you a little bit of something about this over all the years one of the things that i've, mm -hmm. that I've come to notice is is uh coon shrimp and prawns with whiskers get bit significantly more than those without okay now are you going to not catch fish if you don't have whiskers no not an issue okay you're still going to catch fish but i can tell you time and time and time again when i have whiskers i just seem to do better so when you have them protect them be careful with them when you're putting them in the jar you can see these whiskers sticking up in here be real careful tuck them down in um yeah just be real careful with them all right so we've we've got our shrimp in the jar so what do we got seven ounces of dry here Two and a half cups of water, shrimp in the jar, tucking in my whiskers, screwing my lid on super tightly, okay? I want it to be really, really, really tight. Don't want to spill. This dye is very, very, very strong, all right? So here we are, all right? Roll it around a bit. Your formula is going to mix in, all right? Super simple. I'm not shaking them like crazy. I don't want you shaking them, beating up the, the coon shrimp and prawns. Just rolling them around. Okay, so the formula can mix in. If I wasn't doing this video in the moment, this is a quick video, I would have taken the time to pre-mix my formula. And what do I mean by pre-mix? I would have took my two and a half cups of water, my seven ounces of dry cure, and I would have pre-mixed them in the quart jar. I would have put my lid on and let it come to room temperature, and I'd have shook them up, shook them up, shook them up to help uh, melt all those chemicals and, and bite stimulants and stuff into the water so that they were pre-absorbed, if that makes sense. I would have had that done, but in this moment, we're just shooting a quick video, all right? So you can see uh, those chemicals will pile up on the bottom. It's important that we pay attention to those and keep those shaken up. Uh, yesterday, I started a video, okay? Look, I did not pre-mix these chemicals, okay? This has been in the fridge for 24 hours, well, 12 hours, I suppose. Um, but I want you to take a look inside, all right? The cure is setting. The, the, the shrimp are turning their vibrant pink. Uh, one of the most vibrant colors that you're going to see in coon shrimp, you're going to see out of the ultimate shrimp cure. Uh, texture, amazing texture, again, as long as the texture's right when you start. Uh, how long do these shrimp last? That's one of the biggest questions I'm getting. Keith, I want, to, I want a formula that can make these shrimp last forever. That's a tough one, okay? Uh, Quality of the shrimp to start with is the most important part. If the quality of the shrimp is right, you're going to get shrimp that I have definitely fished, you know, six months, one year, two years down the road. But one of the things I do, okay, if I know that I'm going to be keeping shrimp, shrimp super long term, uh, I want to protect them the best that I possibly can. And one of the things that protects your shrimp and helps keep them harder is salt, okay? So I have a bag of rock salt. I use it in my herring brines. I use it in my coon shrimp brines. But what I'll do is I will take, and this is the jar that I just did up, okay? I don't normally do this if I'm fishing these in a month or two months. I don't normally do this. But if I'm talking fishing these three, four, five, six months, even possibly keeping them a year in the, in the fridge, again, don't bet on the bait. Uh, if it's softer to start, it'll be softer in the end, okay? But I'll take a handful, 
like so. And I'll drop this handful of rock salt in to my jar, okay? That's simple. I'll screw my lid back on, all right? Give it a little shake. Let them kind of fall to the bottom. And one of the things that these, these rock salt is gonna do for you is there gonna be an indicator, a visual indicator in regards to how much salinity is in this jar. These formulas that I've made, okay, have the proper amount of salts, the proper amount of chemicals, the proper amount of bite stimulants, the proper amount of everything to make it done, okay? One to two month bait, no issues, no problems. When we get past two months, you know, you know you're gonna keep it past two months. I want a little extra rock salt in there just for safety purposes, okay? So you can walk up and you can visibly look at the bottom of that jar and say, hey, Keith, I still have rock salt in here, okay? That tells me that you're at 100% salinity. You're 100% salt solution. That will protect them. As long as the shrimp stay submersed underwater, okay, and they're not exposed where you've got half the jar empty and all your shrimp sitting in there, as long as they stay underwater in 100% salt solution, these are going to stay protected, okay? Again, I will repeat, because I know this is going to be a, a, a possibly a concern down the road. People are going to say, hey, Keith, my shrimp are a little bit soft. Okay. If they were a little bit soft to start, they'll be a little bit soft in a month. They'll be a little soft in five months and they'll be a little bit soft in a year. Okay. That is real. All right. Is there things that you can add to toughen them? Gosh, you know, I've messed with a lot of chemicals, a lot of different things, uh, nitrates, things like that. I don't want those in my, in my cures. Uh, are those are red hot or red not in my personal opinion, nitrates and nitrites, you know, guys, guys, those are some pretty wicked chemicals. Uh, not in the ultimate stuff. I don't do those. Okay. Uh, could they be added? Yeah. Maybe. Does it affect the bite? Yeah. A lot of times uh, on the steelhead and stuff, not good. All right. Uh, salmon mm, depends, depends on water temps, depends on maturity of the fish, depends on all those sort of things, whether or not I'll be fishing those. Okay. Sorry. Side tangent, just a little a bit of my experience in time. Uh, I want you to understand that uh, I want you guys to have the best, most freshest, most cleanest, most vibrant bait that you can have. Because when you have that, that's when you go miles ahead of the rest, okay? This bait is effectively what most all my guide buddies have been fishing and out fishing most of their buddies with is the ultimate shrimp cure, okay? Last thing I want to talk about, competitive fisheries, all right? If we go down to the lower Columbia, we're sitting out in the Columbia, there's not a lot of people around. Guys, a coon shrimp, no extra scent, no extra nothing, as effective as effective is gonna be. Absolutely thumbs up, phenomenal bait, okay? When I get into the competitive fisheries, what are those, okay? A few of them come to mind. Drano, Spring Chinook, Mouth of the Wind, Spring Chinook, Lamet Falls, Spring Chinook, Lewis River Meat Hole, perhaps. That's a super competitive fishery, okay? There's a lot of competitive fisheries out there where uh, if you go into those fisheries bland and simple, you're still gonna have opportunity. You're still gonna hook fish, but the guys that are tuning their baits, and when I say tuning their baits, I'm talking about uh, bait oils, bait fish, uh, scents, things that are taking it uh, a step above. I'm gonna tell you, I am a scent junkie, okay? For 30 years, I have been a chemist in my garage, figuring out what and why in the scent world. I don't wanna blow, blow the lid off it, but I think in 2024, maybe 2025, I'm gonna consider talking to Steve about bringing a couple of the things to market that I've done with scents and bait oils and stuff. Different story, side tangent, we'll worry about that later. <clears throat> but over the counter, on the shelf, you know, there's a lot of good bait oils out there that do very, 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 very well. Procure has phenomenal products. I've used most all Procure products, okay? Procure shrimp oils, Procure squid oils, Procure krill oils. Uh, when we're talking about steelhead, those in particular, anises, those sort of things. Uh, so what are my favorites for steelhead? Shrimp, crawfish, anise. Um, yeah, love those three, okay? When it comes to salmon, uh, spring chinook are different than fall chinook. Absolutely true. Uh, water temps are different. All those things factor into what scents will become more effective. So uh, I don't want to tie my shrimp up to, to a specific scent. So what I'll do is I'll cure them, I'll put them away, right? 
Uh, and if I know that I'm going to be fishing spring chinook with them, then I may bring in a spring chinook type smell. What's some spring chinook smells? I don't know, tuna oil, uh, herring oils, sardine oils, uh, you know, again, lots of the shrimp oils, uh, sand shrimps and shrimp prawn oils and, and all these. Uh, don't just put one in. I mean, I'm telling you, there's times where I'll have three, four, five cents in my jar. How much scent do I put in? I'll pour off a quarter, quarter inch of, of water uh, solution. Uh, then I will toss scents back in there, okay? Um, yeah, the sky's the limit, you know, honestly, send me a private message. You know, it's, I, I don't want to air out exactly how I do it and what I do. Uh, I'll do another video is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another video on, on, on all of that. What and why I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to talk more about that. So listen guys, subscribe to this channel. Okay. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, the best their ultimate shrimp cure channel and subscribe to the ultimate egg cure channel. I don't know where I'll put it and when I'll do it, but I'm going to bring some more of that to market to help bring you guys to the next level. Okay. You as the standard guy, uh, fisherman, I want to bring with this shrimp cure with the ultimate egg cure, I'm going to bring it all next level. Kind of fun. Um, if you have more questions, yeah, I mean like that. Reach out, okay? Facebook, Ultimate Shrimp Cure. Instagram, Ultimate Shrimp Cure. Uh, TikTok, Ultimate Shrimp Cure. And then last but not least, guys, if you need to order this stuff and you live out of the area, uh, a lot of you are asking me, where do I get it? Okay, well, most of the retail establishments are going to have it. Fisherman's, Bob's. Uh, I, I love the guys in Woodland Edge Pro Shops. Those guys are amazing. Uh, I get most of my coon shrimp from them. That's another question I forgot to touch on here. You guys are going to ask, you know, where do I get all my coon shrimp? Uh, Edge Pro Shops in Woodland, they sell them in five pound bags, super clean shrimp typically. Uh, great guys to work with. And they got some amazing fishing rods in there if you ever swing by. Uh, DNG Baits, they're another access point to some of these coon shrimp. Uh, and then I think some of the retail establishments, if they haven't recently, I don't know, I haven't looked in their freezers, but I think some of them are now stocking some of these coon shrimp so that you can go grab them and bring them home and, and cure them up. <sighs> I feel like I've touched on it all. Uh, last, the website, okay? You can go through my website and order the coon shrimp cure or the egg cure, ultimate egg cure. Um, bestcoonshrimpcure.com www.bestcoonshrimpcure.com go to that website check it out i've got some informational videos i've got some pictures i've got some things tutorials kind of help you walk through some of the other uh, ways that i do things um but yeah i think i've touched it all and if i haven't i'd like you to guys send me a message you know give me a buzz on the phone send me a text tell me what tell me what you want to learn tell me what you want to know um I'm all about helping. Okay. We got 2024. We got some good runs coming. Uh, we're going to make some good bait. You guys are going to be in the game. Okay. I'll see you out there. Uh, yeah, I'll see you out there on the water and uh, be looking forward to, to filling freezers. So I want pictures, send pictures. I love seeing pictures. The ultimate egg cure has been a lot of fun. I mean, the numbers of pictures that have come in, not just of their bait, which is an amazing photos, uh, but of results, you know, the fish picks. So Again, dragging this out, sorry. Ultimate Shrimp Cure, High Octane, Keith Archer's Ultimate Shrimp Cure. Which one do I like best? I, I don't have the answer. I just think back of all the results. It's, a, it's near a tie. I it just, it's maybe the High Octane. Yeah, yeah. I think if you guys were going to buy one, I'd buy the High Octane, okay? Um, it's just hard. I, I, I have both of my boat. I have all four of my boat always. So anyway, talk soon. Enjoy. Hit me up.